Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking to you and updating you about why I quit the daycare. So if you didn't see my previous video, which is babysitting, I explained that I actually quit working at a daycare and moved into babysitting full time. So we're just gonna get into that, kind of like why, like why, why did I do it? <laughs> It's, it might be like a short video, but I don't know. So, I moved to Tennessee in December and I was like looking for a job for probably two months straight. Nobody was calling me, nobody, nobody wanted me, I guess. And then I was on Bumble and I met this girl, Kylie, and she was like, oh, you're looking for a job. And I'm like, yeah. And then she gave me the name of this daycare and then I applied through Indeed and I got heard back from within like a day or two. Went to the interview, got in, blah blah blah. I'm working there. And then I'm working there for like two weeks. Stress. Stress. I was like super stressed out. I wanted to die. And so <laughs> I was like on the verge of quitting for two weeks, three weeks, like within working there. But then it got better. And I felt a lot more stable and comfortable working there. And then it got bad again, if not worse. Um, my husband and I got me real estate courses. So I've been trying to get a real estate license while working at a daycare, which was not easy because whenever I worked at the daycare, all I want to do when I go home was decompress because I worked from 10 to... 6 p.m. every single day and it was a lot and I didn't really have a lot of time to myself because I had to take care of the dogs as well and let them out all the time so I mainly was trying to de decompress for like the majority of the weekdays and on the weekends normally my husband and I would do something so then or spend time together so that I really couldn't study because it would just take up all all day every day and so I told the daycare the second week of April, I was like, hey, um, is it possible if like I could work part time? And one of the women, I'm going to call her Jessica, was like, yeah, it's okay. You just have to give us like a two week transition in order for me to work part time. So switching me from a 10 to 6 to a 10 to 2. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And then two weeks came up. The very last week of that two weeks, I was actually at home quarantining because my room was exposed to COVID. So I called them when I was supposed to start working, which is May 3rd. I called them, I'm like, hey, um, do I come in at 10 to 6 today or 10 to 2 today? Because I told Jessica that I wanted part-time two weeks ago and I'm pretty sure I should be working part-time now. And then the other girl who works at the front, there's two people who work at the front, Jessica and we'll call the other one Sarah. Sarah was like, mm, um, this wasn't informed to me, so blah, blah, blah. We don't really have that position available now which to me was very funny because Kylie, who originally got me this job, she quit a few days ago, okay? She quit. So I was like, oh, okay. So I went to work 10 to 6 that day, and then I went to work 10 to 6 the next day. And I was leaving work on Tuesday. I was leaving... No, I was leaving work on that Monday. And I overheard a girl, I think her name was Christina, Christine. I overheard her basically saying like, management is horrible, like they're talking down to me, like, you know, like respect me, like you can talk to me normally, you don't have to talk to me like I'm stupid. And then she's like, I'm ready, like I'm ready to walk out, like F this place. I'm like, wow. And I was in my car driving home to let, my, to let my dogs out and I told my husband, I'm like, this is what's happening. And he's like, really? And I'm like, yeah. And the funny thing is, this isn't the first person that has walked out or has quit. 
there the turnover rate for this daycare is like really high like people just don't show up or they just 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 quit like day one they quit they don't show up they quit whatever so the turnover rate is super high and so they're always hiring there's always new faces and then they stop coming <laughs> and so i was telling my husband i'm like I don't think I should be working here because, you know, like, I asked them for this position, they told me yes, and then they told me no, and then I'm not getting paid well, so, you know, it is what it is, and he's like, yeah, you should probably, like, quit and find something better and just not work there because they clearly don't care about you, and I'm like, yeah, and then I was, ta I was telling my husband, I'm like, the funny thing is is that the turnover rate here is so high but they don't fix like what's wrong with them like the turnover rate can't be that high unless there's something like legitimately wrong with the company and they would solve it you know and then fix the turnover rate and like decrease the turnover rate but they never fix nothing and what bothered me too is that um my coworker even said that you know she's typically supposed to have 14 kids with another person so like when i work with her we can have 14 kids but they think it's okay to give her 18 kids when one of them is like a two-year-old and typically if you have a two-year-old with you the um, you're stuck to 14. whatever this ratio means to you um but they always go over the ratio for her they always do that and pretty much like they just kind of throw her under the bus a lot when she doesn't like it so after like hearing this and all these other things, I was just like, I'm over this. Like, I really don't want to work somewhere that like can't fix themselves. So I just quit. <laughs> I quit and I started babysitting full time. It took me about a week to find a family, but I found a family and I'm just working as a babysitter because the money is better. I... I'm less stressed because I only work with like one child at most three is my max and yeah that's pretty much it another reason why I quit I got reported for being too loud with a kid um, I told him I was like what are you doing like what are you doing on top of like he was standing on the toilet seat could have broke his head open and I, I was like dealing with the kids outside of the bathroom and so I was like, what are you doing? And I guess um, the woman in the room next to me overheard me and reported me for being too loud. And you know, it's fine. Um, it wasn't the first time I've been loud with a child. I just want to clarify that this was the first time I've been reported about being too loud with a child. I was like, it's okay. Like this is, this is just simple criticism that is healthy and good so i changed how i was i'm very like i don't know how to explain it if i'm in like the zone i can't i can't measure anything else so i couldn't measure my volume so i'm more cautious about my volume now but um this child is very food driven this is the same kid this happened probably like the next week or like a few days after this incident same woman it was lunchtime and he was playing with his food and he's very he's very food driven and I learned this early on. I was like, hey, if you're not gonna eat, I'm gonna take that away. And my friend who works with this woman in the next room over came over to my room and told me, Hey, I just wanted to give you a heads up, but um she's like looking at me like like ready to report you like she doesn't like that you're saying that to him and i'm like oh well this is how he learns so i was basically like this woman was literally on my shoulders every day at work so i just didn't even bother and i just realized that i had to get out immediately or she might report me for more things and i will look even worse than what i already did at the daycare so i quit because I quit because of her management and I think I'm a great worker. I've heard that for working in like retail, I, I've heard that I'm a good worker and 
I guess just working at a daycare, there's a lot of different things that you need to take into consideration, like other people not liking you. So I just quit. Um, but I feel much better with babysitting. The parents like me. They like that I text them. They like that I send pictures of their kids doing things, you know, so for me, I feel better with where I'm at now and I feel that my reputation as a person is still good. So this is why I'm doing what I'm doing now, which is babysitting. And yeah, that is literally all of the reasonings why I quit was management, people, pay also. I only got paid $9.50 and babysitting, I get paid upwards to $13 an hour. So I feel better. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. So yeah, bye.